What's up, Internet? So we're back with another Kai Theory video. Uh, so in this video, we're talking about velocity. Some people have been asking what you can get out of the Kai Theory system as far as power. So today we're going to kind of show what it can do. Um, we're using the VFC M4. It's a 6.05 by 380 millimeter barrel made to a pro end chamber and a modify baton flat top. So we're going to show it at the lowest pressure um, of the operating pressure range and then the highest pressure, which is 60 to 180. And we're going to do a chronograph test with both 0.2s and 0.36s to show you, give you kind of like that wide range of what you might be using. So let's get suited up here and see what it does. All right, so first off, we got two tanks, one set to 60 PSI, one set to 180 PSI. So start with 60 PSI first. Here we go, 60 PSI, point twos. So they average about 272 point twos at 60 PSI. Switch out three sixes. So about 209 with three sixes at 60 psi. That is quite slow, but all right. Let's boost up a bit now. Let's go up to 180 psi. Wish there's a fast way to do this, but do what you gotta do. All right. 60 out, 180 in. Point twos again. Ooh, that's a lot louder. All right, here we go. Point two is 180 psi. It's about 480 feet per second with point twos at 180. Now let's see what three sixes do. about 365 or so. Now, one interesting thing that you might note is the spring that is biasing the spool valve open is a lighter spring in this configuration. So what you'll notice when you get into the higher pressures, do that whole equal and opposite reaction thing, the spool valve actually gets sucked closed a little bit at higher pressures. So to compensate that, you actually change the spring out on the spool valve to make that go away. So we're gonna do that real quick and show you how to do that. So here we go. Might need to clear a little bit of space though. All right. Now if Dan decides to speed this up, I'm gonna sound like Donald Duck here in a second. So let's see what happens. One nice thing though is that with the system being fully mechanical, you have no wire harness or battery to screw with, so it's a lot easier to take it out of the gun and put it back in.
thin would hang up, wouldn't you? What's the problem? There we go. Pin was not behaving. This is a slightly modified and definitely used gearbox. This thing has been used for probably like the past five years now. A lot of screw holes are kind of worn out. All right, but system out. All right, so the spool valve is in there with the spring behind it. It's going to take off cylinder first. This is your spool valve. Just got to pull the trigger to release it. This is the spring. Interesting fact is that it's actually the same spring used in the Fusion engine and the F2. So that's the light spring, this is the heavy spring. Box back together. Ah, screw down. Catch in. Almost there. Don't really need the bolt catch, but why not? Just because. pretty fast, right? All right, so I'm going to try it with 0.2s and 3.6s at 180 PSI. Again, what we just did, and you should see a boost in velocity. All right, so 0.2s first. I just realized I didn't actually do three sixes before, did I? Well, we'll do that again. All right, point two is 100 PSI with heavy spring. Ooh, that's a lot faster. So basically 505, 506 with point twos, 100 PSI. So let's try three sixes again. So basically 400 feet per second with three sixes at 180. So that's cooking pretty good. All right, well, I think that's about it for the day. I think you kind of give you a good idea of what to expect from it. Again, we are still working on it. 
Uh, production should be starting very soon though, so stay tuned for that. But uh, again, any questions, comment below, and we'll see you later.